Hi, I'm Faith Touched, and this is me playing games. And this is the first Mystery Case Files game. And as you see, this is the entire opening segment here, which I missed in the last one. Crime spree baffles Huntsville police. Puzzled authorities seek outside assistance to contain crime wave. Mayor asks MCF to intervene. That, that's us. We're, we're Mr. Case Files. There we go. And I am Agent Fate of Mystery Case Files to seek and solve. This is part two. We started this one one episode ago and we finished the demo because I forgot to download the whole thing even though I already owned it. Today I think we can finish the whole thing. These original games are not very long at all. So we shall see. And by the way, I will have you know, I hold you all in very high regard. I am streaming instead of making cookies. So that that's how much that's how much I care about all of you. Okay, let's begin. Where did we leave off? Okay, so we got through four cases in the last one, and there are 14 total plus the big boss. So we'll see how fast we can get through these. These hidden object puzzles are rather tricky because they are the old school ones, but I think we can do it. We are all ready. Aha, it's up, punk. We are already at the level of investigator. See, see, it says here over here on our badge. That looks like a sheriffy type badge, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see. The way to a man's heart. Mrs. Larson, curator of the Huntsville Art Museum, suspects her husband, Bill, of marital infidelity. She needs your help uncovering clues left behind at suspected rendezvous points, including Alice's Diner and the Captain's Inn. When enough evidence is collected, use the crime computer to unravel the mystery of Bill's nightly absences. Okay, this is not so much a crime as it is just a detective thing we're investigating, I guess. I'm not old, shush. Actually, that's not true. I'm old. I've always been old, though, since I was like 10. So it's fine. Where should we go first? Let's go to the clock shop. Okay. Real quick note, I guess. I am playing this very, very old game from 2005, I believe, in a windowed screen, which makes it a quarter the size of my actual monitor, which means if I overlay it on the thing that I am streaming from, I can not only see my game, but probably another third of the game again in the window itself. So like if you get down here to where this briefcase is, I can see outside of the screen the entire briefcase, the entire list, and like pretty much up to here outside my screen. So there is a decent possibility that I am accidentally going to click off the screen multiple times. Just warning you. Oh, and here we have, for those who didn't see us last time, the very weirdly accurate portrait of baby Donald Trump. Oh yeah, the clock is ticking down. I'm fine. All right, so let us find things. Two glass eyes. One, two. Oh, right. I have to wait until it's all the way inside the satchel before I can click on something else. Okay, a magnifying glass. Two Einsteins. Oh yeah, look at that. One, two. Also, I talk too much. You can't make me stop doing that. It's impossible. Brass booties. Oh, this. I have a pair of these. When when I was little, this is an uh, old-fashioned thing or a thing they still do. I'm not sure. My parents got my baby shoes bronzed, which was interesting. And I still have them. Traffic light. Well, part of the traffic light. Teapot clock. Here's a doggy clock. I thought that was cute. And a fish clock and a hummingbird. A teapot clock. There's a boot and a rocket ship and a teapot. Oh, and a lemon, which I believe, yeah, makes him look a little less like Donald Trump, but still very weird. Oh, and a banana, which I'm sitting on top of. Good work. 
Now let's go to the barber shop. All right. Uh, nippers, banana. Some of these rooms I've already done, so hopefully they will go back quickly so I can get to the ones that I haven't. Or I guess they're buildings in this game. Hand mirror, a bunch of grapes. Though just because I played it not that long ago doesn't mean I'm not going to have trouble finding things I already found. Because that's just the way my brain works. There it is. Straight razor. Oh, two bunches of grapes. Oh. Um, a straight another bunch of grapes. Straight racer, handsaw, boomerang. I don't know where the boomerang is. And I just saw the handsaw like 30 seconds ago. Dang it, it. There is the chain saw. It was over here, I thought. Yep, there it is. Okay. You saw the saw. Ha 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 ha. Okay. One bunch of grapes and a straight razor. Where are the other grapes? Actually, oh, there they are. Okay. Now let's go to the Ivan's Cafe. Or Ivan's Cafe, I guess. Let's see. Bell, Trident, and Coat Hanger. Bell, Trident... And coat hanger. There's a bus and a goose. Or a duck. I think that's a duck. You're doing goose things, aren't you, Otfunk? You are writing a story about a goose who has a very bad attitude. I am not looking for anything right now. And that's a retelling of a fairy tale based on the goose girl. Or... Right? That's right. Frog. 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 Is this a coat hanger? Is this a coat hanger? No, it's the goose that laid the golden eggs. Oh, okay, cool. I wasn't sure which one you were doing. Turns out it was a Canadian goose. Who knew? <laughs> was Canada even invented back then? Probably not. Yes, I know Canada wasn't invented. Wait, I've got to point out, even though this isn't a thing, isn't that a great place to hide a pie in this in this thing? I thought that was really good. Okay, bell, trident, coat hanger, bone, wooden plane. This is a weird looking goose. <laughs> Lot punk writes stories um, involving a really kick-ass midwife who is dealing with lots of different fae in one way or the other, it turns out. And she is a middle-aged woman who does not take any guff from anyone. And you should read the books that are out already. And why can I not focus on finding the things I need to find? There's the bell. Okay. And I need a coat hanger. What's the- you have, um... No, it's not you. Trust me. I am being distracted all by myself. <laughs> you have three books? No, two books out right now, right? You've got the, the Midwife and the Lindworm and the Worth of Hair, which are both awesome and on all kinds of different places. Well, I can't find any things. I mean, short story and novella. Yep, there's still books. Oh, wow. Okay. I wouldn't have saw that. Of Needles and Pins is coming soon. I need to read that. You haven't sent me the um, edited copy yet. Coat hanger. And a bone. Or did you not finish with your edits yet? Because I want to read it. This is very cool. Wow. My entire brain just has like... Oofed. Okay, see, that's not just me. That's I wouldn't have never seen that. Oh, okay. Her editor is also awesome, Sarah Chorn. If you have a thing that needs to be edited, I 
she fills up fast so it might not be for a while but you should check her out i will put her link in the description she is a very good editor and also a good author i'm super not finding anything wow okay the things i missed at least were not even close to obvious i feel slightly better now all right the captain's in Ooh, piratey a gold coin turtle soda bottle two fish an arrow a baseball bat a pretzel and a brain there's brain a golden coin a turtle and a soda bottle oh look there's a periscope that's adorable uh, let's see this is a little interesting uh there's a froggy and an ear these these old school ones are super hard look how many items are hid in this statue there's a butterfly and an acorn and a snake and i think that's a mouse and a coffee oh no it's a nut or a screw it's like they just pack stuff into these oh there's a little coin Let's see, turtle, two fish, and an arrow. Turtle, two fish, there's a frog again. And a pear, a robot, and another frog. Oh, he's cute. There's a duck. There's a turtle. Sea turtle. A pretzel. I haven't had a nut good soft pretzel in a long time. Soft pretzel sounds good. I'm not hungry, by the way, except for cookies, which I am always hungry for. Oh, their pretzels were so good. This uh, cafe we used to go to, to write in, um, they had these, uh, I think they were super pretzels, but they might have been a different brand. And it was jalapeno cheese stuffed pretzels. Oh my gosh, they were so good. And then they closed. And I'm not seeing it. Oh, wow, that's a cute hat. And another frog. There are a lot of frogs in this picture. Soda bottle, two fish, and an arrow. I haven't found any fish. Let us find some fish. Oh, there's a soda bottle. And a cow. And there's that frog again. Yeah, they got rid of all the candy. They had like uh, jelly orange slices that were really good. And then they had chocolates and stuff. And nope, they closed. And then they went out of business because it wasn't fun anymore. We stopped going. We ended up uh, going to Panera instead. I need an arrow and a two fish. Wait, is that a fish? It looks like a fish. Oh, maybe that's a bird. There's another bird. There's another frog. Here's another frog. Oh, I used all my hints. Oh, that's very disappointing. I might have to leave this area without finding all the things. No. Ah, I got six minutes. It's fine. I only need to find five, uh, nine more items, which I can probably do check out at 11 a.m. Nice. Um, in the next place. But I wanted to find the things here. All right. I'm going to... Since I used up all my hands, I'm going to go over here. Okay. Sun, bottle opener, two shears, an eight ball, a shoe, a flower, a honey dipper, and a key. All right. So a sun, a bottle opener, and two shears. Let's see. Well, that's a pizza cutter. You know, the other thing that's hindering me here, I just realized, is that this screen is a quarter the size of my monitor, and it's really hard to see stuff. <laughs> And it's not just me, it's also myself making this much harder on myself. Alright, bottle opener, two shears. Vegetable peeler. What is that? Oh, that's a bottle. Bottle opener. Okay. An eight ball. That's an easy one. Shoe. Is there a rubber chicken in there? That's silly business. Oh, there's the sun. A flower. A flower? No, that's a bouncy ball, I think. Uh, let's see. Two shears, shoe, flower, key. Two shears, shoe, flower, key. Do, 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 do. Pie sounds good, too. I am always talking about desserts when I stream. I need to stop doing that. I make myself hungry. 
and a butterfly and a bug. I don't see anything I'm looking for. Wait, that's a nutcracker. That's a fork. Paintbrush. What is that? That's a crayon. And there's a pencil. Oh, I didn't look down here. Oh, there's another fork. Is that a rolling pin? I don't know what that is. A ruler. I think there's a key on the base of which fork? This one? This one? Oh, yep, I see it. Yep, yep, yep. Got it, got it. Thank you. Two shears, a shoe, and a flower. How oh, hard is that shears? Oh, they mean scissors. Took us. Hate translation issues. Yes, scissors can be called shears, but it's not the same thing. I don't know I was looking for scissors, I would have found one. Alright, a shoe. How hard would it be to find a shoe? Shoes are relatively large. Oh, there it is. And now I need a flower and another scissor. There's the other scissor. And I need a flower. And then I need to find one more thing from the other side. Oh no, I'm actually running out of time. No! I keep thinking there's a flower in here, but there's a tennis ball and other things that are not flowers. Uh, should we jump ship here and go back to the other one? Oh, there's a flower. Got it. Ha 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 ha. All right, now I need to find one of the two things at this place. Or, there's three things actually, but I need two fish or an arrow. There's a fish. In that statue I was talking about, now I need another fish or an arrow. And I need to hurry up. Oh no, I'm running out of time. There's a fishing lure. There's a skeleton that looks like it's riding on a bicycle, which is a little bit weird. This is still not a fish, even though it looks like a fish. There's a pelican. And a dude in a cowboy hat. Another frog. So many frogs! Whoever made this game liked frogs. There's an elephant. And a ten and a, uh, not a tennis ball, baseball. And there's a duck. And that is a totem pole, I think. No! Oh, there's fish. It was on his hat. Another one on the same thing that I pointed out earlier. All right. Oh, wait, I should solve the stupid... Oh, jeez. I have to solve the uh, puzzle. I keep trying to find a different word for this, but this is literally a puzzle. I have to solve the puzzle in the same amount of time, too. I might not make that. Oh, good. Okay. Good choice game. Uh, there's the... Is it there somewhere? Here? Here? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Just got the camera. Oh, no! I'm gonna lose! Oh, no! I have no idea what happens if you lose. No! Uh, no! No! Can we can't play with the puzzle, so... It's a new Can I make it? Oh, we got a lot of these things. Dude! I made it with two seconds! I am the best! I need to stop talking so much. You have pieced together a surveillance photo of Bill Larson in a passionate embrace with a chicken breast sandwich. Mr. Larson obviously has an eating problem, but his wife will be grateful to be informed he is abiding his vows. Your investigation aptitude has confirmed your new detective ranking of bird dog? Okay. Bird dog? Sure, whatever. All right. That was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Scam. Bird dog? I don't know, I guess. I have no idea how that works. I know the top rank is Master Detective, because that's what we are for all of the rest of the games. But let's see. Moving along. Case number six, Scam Artist. Visiting art historians have recently discovered that several masterpieces housed within the Huntsville Art Museum are fakes. Town citizens are outraged and need your help exposing the pretend Picasso. 
scour the bookstore, fire station, art museum, and other crime scenes for clues. Bring clues to the crime computer for analysis and find the duplicious scoundrel who is re... Duplicious? I don't think that's right. Scoundrel who is responsible for these fraudulent fakes. Duplicious. Huh. All right, let's do the fire station first. Why not? It's a pupper. Oh no, he's got a tick on him. Oh no, and I can't click it this time. The last time we were here, that was one of the first things on the list and I clicked it so he wasn't on there. And that's going to bother me the whole time we're here now. It also bothers me that I can't quick click things. That is very inconvenient. Okay. One clock, washboard, three hooks, a drum, a ceramic jug, clothes iron, buildings on fire. That's there. I remember that one. And a motorcycle. All right. So a clock, a washboard. That one I remember. And three hooks. Yep, I got it. Thank you. That kind of looks like the Statue of Liberty torch, doesn't it? Or something really similar to something else I've seen. I noticed that last time, but I wasn't really paying attention. Like, sort of, I'm not paying attention now. Uh, jug. Hook. Come on. You have to be real specific as to where you click, too. It does not like it if you are, like, one millimeter off with your clickage. Yeah, that, there's the Statue of Liberty Torch. That is totally a replica of that. I was right. Okay. Clothes, iron, drums, another hook, and another clock. Hmm. And a motorcycle. You'd think the motorcycle would be easy to find. But it's probably a tiny baby. Oh, there it is. It's a picture of a motorcycle. Let's see. A drum and one more hook. One hand, two hand. Drumming on a drum. Dum, diddy, dum, diddy, dum, dum, dum. Where... I've stopped looking at things. I hate it when I do that. Or I'm looking at things, but I'm not actually looking for anything. Where is the hook? We're gonna play this section a little bit different than last time. If I can't find what I'm looking for very shortly, we're just gonna move to the next level and come back if we can't find enough stuff. Which is, I think, how they wanted you to play it the whole time, but I was ignoring that in the last section. Look, that is a weird hook. Okay. Oh, there's a pop too. And a drum. I don't know what kind of drum we're talking about. The fireman. Drum, is that a drum? Like, do they mean like a gallon drum? Do they mean like a snare drum or a bass drum? Or a hand drum. Maybe we'll never know. The puppet thing with the drum. Oh! Yes, they did! It was in fact a snare drum then. Good work! Let's go to the bookstore! Alright, we need a bell, two old records. Like, okay. Nippers, two magnifying glasses, tambourine, centipede, shovel, and a sun. They mean like LPs? I assume. A bell. Two magnifying glasses. One. Two. A tambourine. Oh, for heaven's sakes. A centipede which is not okay. We had a discussion about there being centipedes that big in the last episode, and I'm still not all right with that. Let's see. Nippers, there's the shuffle. All right, so we need a bell. And, oh, that's a cute owl. Oh, and there was that griffin that was really cool up here, too. I like him. There's the bell. Oh yeah, they mean LPs. Okay. That makes my life slightly less difficult. 
<laughs> yeah, I saw a, um, you, you missed this in the last stream because you weren't here. Yeah, there, somebody, and I forget who it was, but I hate them, posted a video of a giant centipede that someone had trapped under a Tupperware running around inside the Tupperware on the counter. And I may never be okay again. This is why I live as far north as I do. I will never go south for two reasons. One, I hate being hot. And two, I don't like bugs that are bigger than a quarter. So if where you live has bugs that are bigger than a quarter, I am not going to live there. Oh, we're back at the diner. Four balls, screw, potato masher, two cranks, ruler, two matches, fountain pen, and a key. Well, I know where the key is. All right, so four balls. I saw a whole bunch of balls. Oh, one of those, um, wait, was it a skinny wasp or was it a thick fat wasp? Also, you live south of here. See? Your own fault. Find a child. That might have been a cicada killer. They actually don't bother people if it makes you feel any better. I mean, unless you bother them first. But I, I figure that's fair. All right, is that a ball or an egg? That's an egg. Is that a ball? Nope, okay. All right, so one ball, screw, potato masher, two cranks, a ruler, which is right where I'm pointing, two matches, and a fountain pen. There's the pen. Erdite likes fountain pens. He collects them, but I believe he is running D&D tonight. So he's not with us at the moment. Unless he is. Now there's only one of you here. It's all good. I'm totally okay with the fact that I am playing to an audience of almost no one. Because this is kind of what I do anyways. <laughs> he's actually playing a Cthulhu campaign, so that's even worse, I think. Alright, let's see. I need a potato masher, which I thought I saw. That is a whisk, not a potato masher. There's another whisk. There's a egg beater. I haven't played D&D in a long time. Upper right. Oh yeah, look at that. Potato masher. I've actually found that a pie dough cutter for mixing butter into flour works pretty good as a potato masher as well. So I think at one point we broke our potato masher and now I'm talking and not looking at stuff again. I don't know it's it's physically possible for me to stop talking for any length of time. As, as I was saying before, it, yeah, I don't have a big audience here, but I literally talk to myself while I'm playing these games anyway, so at least I look less crazy. Maybe? I don't know. Yep. Game. Does one have a crank? Not that I can see. All right. Yeah, so rather than... Hey! Speak of the devil! We were just talking about you and uh, the fact that you are running a Cthulhu game instead of being on my stream. There might be a bag on the door of my office. Hold on a moment, please. Can I pause? Yes. Hang on. What on earth did you buy? Oh my gosh. All right, everyone. Aside from the things I'm about to thank Erdite for, which is a box of raisinets and a box of junior mints, both of which I like, though not together, he also decided to buy me some gingerbread men marshmallow peeps, which I assume, I know you don't like raisins, which I assume he wants me to try on stream, which is why he bought them and told me they were on my door. I don't know how I feel about this, everyone. I do, in fact, like regular peeps. I am not entirely sure that gingerbread men peeps should be a thing. So I am going to... I, I don't know if I'm interested in trying them. I do like gingerbread. But I don't know how flavored marshmallow things, if I can get it open, I don't know if that should be a thing. We, I guess we will so soon find out if I can get this stupid bag open properly. Jeez Louise, I mangled this. Oh boy. 
Okay, well, they smell like fake ginger and they feel like marshmallow peeps. So I guess we're heading in the correct direction. Let's find out. <laughs> it's just not good. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever tasted ginger this fake before. It tastes like a ginger Yankee candle would smell. If, if you can imagine that. They tried to get like the, um, the spiciness of ginger where it's kind of a little bit hot kind of and then also have the ginger flavor of like ginger and the two flavors of ginger are actually competing with each other i mean consistency wise it tastes like a peep or feels like a peep oh that after taste yeah i i don't think i've ever tasted anything ginger that was that artificial before I'm going to give that two stars. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm going to have a Junior Mint to wash it down with. Which ones have you tried? Because I haven't tried any on purpose. That one was not good. It was, it was not good. Birthday cake doesn't sound like it would be good, no. Boy, I'm glad I got to share that with all of you. Ugh. All right, let's go back to the game. Wow, it's gonna haunt my nightmares. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever tasted. Finished a whole one, but I would not eat another one. Not at all. All right, I don't actually know where the ball is. So let's go to the next place. Let's go to the art museum. Ooh, fancy. Let's see. So chili pepper wrench mohawk. Okay. Oh, there it is. Spoon, barbed wire, chain, two skulls, and a pen. There's a skull. This is cute. This reminds me of something uh, still a mellow would have in his apartment. Oh, there's skull on top of the right picture? This one? That's not a skull. Oh. That's a lion. That's a skull. Hey, frog! Well, I hope you're happy, Erdite. I tried something that is not good, and I regret it instantaneously. I think he's gone, though. I think he's back to gaming. Just came in with, like, a fairy of candy. Yes, yes it is. I should probably ask you all, does your version that you are seeing as I am playing this look blurry? Because mine does not look blurry, but it is in fact extremely tiny. Okay, I apologize for that. I didn't think of that, but I want to play this whole series. This is a good series. I mean, technically even this part is good. It's just stupid hard. I need 11 more things. A spoon, a wrench, a wrench, a spoon, and a chain. Ah, you're right. Helps having two people doing this. Let's see, a wrench. That's part of a chain. You're helping! There's a wrench. We played um, hidden object puzzles like this long ago back in the day with you helping. I keep thinking I see some- oh, there it is. I keep thinking I see something that's a chain, but it's something else. I will say I am definitely excited. Oh, wow. This is crazy. I'm definitely excited to get into the newer games with this series, not only because we, uh, wow, scale pink rose. Let me, let me finish my sentence. Not only because we will have more interesting stuff to do, but also because this screen will be regular size. Oh, I'm not focused. I don't know if you knew that. Scale, pink rose, three rocket ships, a fish, a chair, two Humpty Dumpties, a tricycle, and a robot with a dial. There's the robot. Let's see. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. 
all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again. Actually, I think those two Humpty Dumpties were a matching salt and pepper shaker. Matter of fact, I wonder if a lot of these are matching salt and pepper shakers, because a lot of the toys look like they go together. And that was a, a big thing back in the time period of these toys. That's different. Fish in a chair and a tricycle. Hmm, a cute little tank. There's a chair. Three rocket ships. I think I would have seen those. Oh, he's cute too. I'm not supposed to be looking at the stuff. That, I don't, is that, a, that looks like a helicopter. Above the creepy doll, you need to be way more specific. <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks like a cupid doll, actually. All right, <laughs> fish. Oh, there's another rocket ship. And... Oh, there's an original Mr. Potato Head, except it's with a cucumber. They actually originally were toys or pieces of a toy that they gave out and you used a real potato. Fish above potato head. Really? Oh yeah, look at that. And I think this is the other rocket. Yep. Yeah, so there was a cucumber, there was a potato. You could really use, oh, okay. You could really use any um, vegetable, or I guess even a fruit if you wanted to, to, uh, where does that leg go? Oh. To uh, play with the Mr. Potato Head, which is pretty cool. Though I imagine it was messy, which is one of the reasons they decided to go in a different direction with it. Oh, yeah. oh no! You know, telling me that is, does not help the situation. Thank you very much, game. That actually makes it worse. Okay, that's nice. Nice I'm gonna go here. Okay, that. Uh, I cannot get there. No, stop! No! Yes! Got it! Aha! No, I don't have to read. Your investigation aptitude has revealed the identity of the forger as the art enthusiast Gil T. Azel. Oh, that's adorable. Gil has been replacing the real art with his forgeries so he can sell them online. Suspect appears to have a curious problem of something or other. Your observant know-how has afforded you the new detective ranking of Spotter. Wow, the names are getting worse. Yeah, I am too, which is not great for my back. Oh, you know what? Actually, I just remembered. My monitor pulls forward. Oh, that's so much better. I mean, now my monitor is a foot away from my face, but I can see better. Wait, I have to go back here. Does it say who it was? Because it was Guilty Azel. Ha ha ha. I guess it doesn't. Alright. Nerdy Nuisance. Case 7. The once easygoing citizens of Huntsville are dismayed to find that someone has been surreptitiously entering their email accounts and pawing through their private correspondence. Acquire clues at the cafe diner. Pawn shop, captains in science museum, science museum, and hunt and peck law office. With the help of the crime computer, use your highly honed skills to decrypt the identity of the heinous hacker. All right, which one of these haven't we gone to yet? Oh, we've gone to all of these. Okay, hunt and peck law. That was another one that you missed last time. Let's see. Hourglass, gramophone. I just saw the gramophone, didn't I? Maybe not. Two pairs of glasses. There. A telephone. Here. A grape basket. Two pocket watches. A pair and a magnifying glass. That is a cute piggy still. See, like, this level was the first level. This one's deceptively easy, isn't it? 
they really ramp up the difficulty on this thing. That's not a gramophone, that's a record player. Gramophones have that cool horn sticky outy thing. All right. Two old cars, a fire extinguisher, a toy top, two lobsters, a pail, a telephone, a clown, and two bats. One lobster right here. Well, this one's not that difficult either. You can tell the later F, uh, later places have way harder to find stuff in them lures you into a, self, a false sense of security. Ooh, a pufferfish. Let's see, what else? FYI, your lower shelf. Oh, you were finding the same thing at the same time. That's so funny. The, um, pro tip, don't make it so you can't find your fire extinguisher. Don't do that. That's a bad idea. One lobster and one old car. All right, let's see. There's a lobster slaw on the dartboard. Tell me if I'm getting, oh, claw. <laughs> lobster slaw? I thought it was like an advertisement or something. <laughs> okay. Here's a carrot. And a tiger. Slaw does not sound appealing. Lobster slaw, maybe. There it is. Alright, see now this epi episode, this area is a lot trickier because the stuff is hidden inside things instead of kind of just out where it normally would be. Though I've done this one a couple times now, so now I kind of know where some of this stuff is. Two cranks again. Well, and I know where they are now. Where's that bottle opener? Because it didn't look like a bottle opener. I don't remember. Oh, a pearl necklace I don't remember finding. I don't know. I can't- oh, there's the liar. I've forgotten what I'm looking for because, uh, yeah, my brain does, oh, there's a necklace. My brain does not like thinking some days. Actually, my brain doesn't like thinking most days. That's why I take medication. Oh, bugger. I should have had Erdite get my medication. Speaking of medication, I... Oh yeah, my ADHD meds are like long gone at this point in the day. And also, uh, I've been off my anxiety meds for this will be night number four because I did not order it in time and I had to wait over the weekend for it to come in. Yes, I know, you already yelled at me, shush. Yeah, take your medicine, kids. It's uh, very good to you know help you function as a human. And uh, functioning as a human is important when you are, in fact, a human and need to function. Does this say time clock? What the heck is a time clock? All of them are time clocks. That's just silly business. <laughs> a time I can't wait to see what they think a time clock is. Um, a time travel machine, that's from the time machine, the H.G. Wells story that was made into a movie. There's a cool robot dude, and another cool robot dude. I need a pie. And a camera. Pie on the brown shelf lowest. Oh yeah, look at that! I don't know what I thought that was, but I didn't think it was a pie. Alright, let's see. And a camera. Hiding behind that clock. Okay, now let's take bets on which. Oh, I figured it out. It's a time clock. It's a punch card clock. You want to bet? Yep. 
That was a dumb way to put that game, unless you did that on purpose, and then you're just a jerk. All right. <laughs> I don't know, that was not obvious. All right, let's see. Handbag, wooden flute, what's over here? A pair of gloves, here. A tiny bottle. A quill and ink. Clock and two brushes. All right, let's see what we can find here. There's a turtle. I'm good at finding turtles. They are cute. I already forgot what I'm looking for. I mean, I completely forget what I'm looking for, but I mostly forgot what I was looking for. What am I looking for? Oh, there's a tiny bottle. I am looking for a quill and ink, a handbag, and two brushes. Okay. Quill and ink. Handbag on the left chair. I remember that being there too, and I totally missed it because I was looking at the turtle and then the car and the garlic. And two brushes. One is that brush because that was one I couldn't find last time. And there's that stupid bone. Stupid bone. There's a rake. What am I looking for? A quill and ink and a brush. I have not seen a quill and ink. Hmm. <laughs> There's a zipper. Oh, there it is. Look at all the stuff they've got in this wallpaper. There's peas over here. The people who designed this particular game definitely put all they had into making it as frustrating as humanly possible. And they succeeded. <laughs> but I'm playing it, so obviously it's good. You know what? Let's do a hint. Oh, it's a toilet brush. Got it. All right, back to the science museum, which has very old science in it. If this is what your science museum looks like, this is a science history museum, not a science museum. All right, thermometer. That's a thermometer. Is thermometer, stack of coins, which is down here, a cow, glass eye, croquet mallet, eight ball, and dollar bills. Oh, there's another thermometer. That is also a thermometer. Poopy heads. Cow getting eaten by a UFO. Yep, there he is. I think the UFO was the one we needed to find last time. Oh, glass eye on the alligator. And let's see, dollar bills. Multiple, huh? There's a frog. I could use some dollar bills if anybody wants to send some my way. Kinda doubt it though. Could use it to pay all of them uh, doctors off. Ha ha. Because you know I'm in therapy. Woohoo! Therapy's expensive, but worth it, by the way, guys. And now I've completely forgotten what I'm looking for. I am looking for a croquet mallet and dollar bills. Why am I not finding the money? You also accept dollar bills. At least you're selling a product. They would just be giving me money, wherever they are because I happen to be rambling on the internet about hidden object puzzles and random items in said hidden object puzzles. I am not seeing the dollar bills anywhere. And oh, there they are. That's because they're so tiny, they didn't look like money. I know, but I'm not even, I mean, I guess this is a video game, but like, I don't know, this is, I would be doing this even if I wasn't streaming. So it just kind of feels like cheating. Which is probably dumb, but you've heard my, my uh, you've heard me stream. Obviously, you know that I might not always be thinking properly about things. Little chair. We finished this one a lot quicker than we did the last one. We've still got a good ten minutes left. Go us. Well, this one had a lot of the. Uh, the rooms that were in the original episode, or the first level, rather. 
and I don't know why I keep saying episode. Um, so they were a lot easier to find. It's not because my skill is going up. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> this time of night, my brain is not functional enough to uh, credit this with skill. If you're gonna hack someone, like, it seems like, especially back in the day when that wasn't a big thing, you'd want to do that not at a cafe where everybody can see you doing it. Aw, thank you. We cracked the case. It appears Eugene Needlemeyer is infiltrating inboxes to discover who's placing white tape on his glasses and stealing his pocket protectors. What? Your astonishing genius has justified your new ranking of sleuth. Okay, that at least makes sense. Click below to begin the next case. All right. Well, we're halfway done with this. How long have I been playing? Oh, I've been playing an hour. I bet I could get this done faster if I stopped talking. Case 8, the cat burglar. Frightened Huntsville resident residents suspect a cat burglar in their midst. The pet store and local residents have been the primary targets of daily feline disappearances. Follow the scent of the kitty crook by collecting clues scattered around town. Use the prodigious power of the crime computer to reveal the degenerate responsible for filching the furry fellows. Hurry, you only have a short amount of time before another pet is poached. Someone had a lot of fun writing the copy on this too. Ooh, Paul's Exotic Pets. All right, let's do the ones we've already done before first. Okay, Umbrella, Trowel, Turtle, Dinosaur, Spoon, Wine Bottle, Ruby, and Sand Dollar. Sand Dollars are really cool. There's a turtle. Let's see. Uh, trowel and a dinosaur. There's a dinosaur and an Umbrella and a Spoon. Of the guy with the mohawk. Oh, there's Ruby. Wine bottle. And a sand dollar and a trowel. Okay. It's, oh, there's the mallet. Was I looking for that in this room? I don't remember. It sure is easier to see this now that the screen is literally a foot away from my face instead of all the way back where it's supposed to be so I don't injure my eyeballs. Oh, there's sand dollar. If you break a sand dollar open, inside are five little white birdies. They're doves. They're not. I don't know what they actually are, but that's what happens when you break them. Aha! And the bookstore. I, which is, I have already forgot what the eye is. See, I told you, the one, once I played the level a couple of times, it shouldn't be that hard, even though it's really hard. Uh, but some of these are a lot easier than others. Two pipes, fish, fountain pen, airplane, wishbone, which is right there. Winged lion, which I love. I love that statue. It's awesome. I would love that in my room. I'm trying to get my office together. Bye. Lovely hubby is building me a bookcase. And when that is done, I can actually put all of the things in my office that are currently scattered about the room and on the floor where they go. It will be very novel and awesome. All right, let's see. So now we need a pipe and a fish. There's a ducky, and a lizard, and a seashell, and a mouse, and a knight, and a spider. I think those are two birds. There's a pipe. No, a fish. The other reason I'm getting through these levels much quicker is for some reason, rather than remember important stuff, like I need to get more medication, I will remember that there used to be a wishbone in that bush forever. All right, let's see. Two cameras, doggy clock, here. paintbrush, a nautilus shell, hummingbird, tie, baby bottle, and two Einsteins. 
It's like, why do I remember this stuff? Why can't I remember, like, to make sure I get to my appointments on time? Or that I need to buy X at the grocery store without writing it down? No. That's not what my brain wants to remember. My brain wants to remember obscure video games and commercials from the 80s and where certain things in hidden objects puzzles are. That's way more important. All right, paintbrush, nautilus shell, tie, and baby bottle. Yeah, exactly. Brains are dumb. It's like, come on. This is not an efficient use of space or time. Look at this cool rocket ship in the wallpaper. That's awesome. All right. Uh, or, you know, even like remembering what I was looking for two seconds ago. That'd be helpful. But no, the kitty cat's knocking stuff over. That's not very good, kitty cat. That's not why, that's why you're not allowed up on stuff anymore. If you make a mess, you don't get to be up on the furniture. It's a rule. All right, let's see. There's a hat. We just need a tie and a nautilus shell. There's a mousy and a fishy and a penguin. Penguins are cool. There's a pineapple. What am I looking for? A nautilus shell. I was not seeing a nautilus shell. Oh, there's the nautilus shell next to the ducky. And I just need a tie. Oh, wait. It's on him. Trickies. Barbershop. I love this hairdo. It's amazing. All right. Bell. Apple. Mousy. And another mousy. Headphones. And French horn. A poison bottle, which you probably shouldn't have just laying out on the counter like that. Alright, an eggplant and a compass. There's a compass. Where's the eggplant? Eggplant. I don't think it oh, it is a purple eggplant. It's on the floor by the garbage. All right, let's go to the tropical fish store first. Ooh, little octopus is so cute. Human jaw, monkey skull, monkey statue, steering wheel, baseball hat, colorful pens, bell and scissors. Colorful pens, huh? Skull. That does not look a real skull. That looks like a pretend skull. All right, let's see. Human jaw, monkeys. Wait, that's not the monkey statue. That's not the monkey statue. There's a monkey. That doesn't look like a monkey. That looks like a gargoyle. He's got wings. Hmm. All right. Bell, scissors, colorful pens. Ah, there we go. Yep. Why do we keep finding the same thing at the same time? That's kind of creepy. Look at this toy. It's a whale. That's so cool. We do keep doing that. It's like the third time we've done that, or the fourth time we've done that. Scissors by the octopus. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, that is an alligator jaw. Let's see, what else has gotten here? Steering wheel and a bell. And a puffer fish. He's puffy. That means he's got an angry. And dinosaur, that would be a cool toy to have on my desk too. Cucumber. Bell, right next to the octopus on the other side. Up, oh, there's a human teeth. That's not a jaw, so much it's like the bottom set of dentures. And a steering wheel, right next to him. All right, Paul's exotic pet shop. Oh, this is all kinds of interesting. I don't think this is a sanctioned pet shop. All right, gorilla, two lizards. Is this a lizard or a dinosaur? I guess he's a wizard. Raccoon, radio, shoe tree, which is silly. Five marbles, a purple bottle, and a caterpillar. There's the purple bottle. And there's the caterpillar. Next to the guinea pig. 
All right, and we need a gorilla, which I actually thought I saw, but maybe not. That's a monkey, not a gorilla. Up oh, there's the gorilla. Uh, let's see, one lizard, a raccoon over here. That is definitely a taxidermy raccoon. That is not a pet raccoon. All right, a shoe tree and five marbles. Let's see. Frogs aren't lizards. Is the radio the brown box in the middle? Yes, it is. That's like a um, like a we are at wartime. I need to contact someone. Radio, as opposed to a I am going to listen to the top forty greatest hits. Radio. There's a marble. Oh, there's another marble. And there's another marble. And there's another marble. I need one more marble. Yes, and a shoe tree and a lizard. All right, let's see. Frogs are still not lizards. There's a lizard. It looked like an iguana. And so I need one marble and a shoe tree. Shoe tree is a silly thing. Also, oh wait, that's not a shoe tree. That's a shoe form. A tree would be a bunch of them together. Oh, I didn't find the last marble. All right, where does your head live, sir? There we go, okay. Oh geez, he's dressed up like a cat. And he's stealing the cat clock. That's just silly business. It's weird to put these together because the image that I'm looking at is slightly it's not the whole image we were just using to find things. So it's confusing my brain a little bit because I'm thinking that something should be here in the picture, but it's actually over farther. Like this eyeball, I think goes like, oh no, that one goes up here. I don't even have that close to where it goes. You go down there. And what else? This is here. There, there, there. Ah. Ta-da! Superlative sleuthing, Agent Fate. You have caught Ty from the clock shop, stealing cats from the pet store, stuffing them, and selling them as clocks! Well, that's messed up! His time as a free man has expired. Dark, didn't it? Your mystery solving skills have earned you the title of Shadow Master. That is not a detective rank. <laughs> that 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 dude was was stealing cats and killing them and stuffing them and make them making them plots. That's not okay. So now we have We have six cases left, and we are about an hour and 20 in. Should we stop and do one more episode of this later, or should we keep going till we finish? One more case. Okay, case nine, spaced out. UFO sightings and alien visitations have become alarmingly commonplace in Huntsville, say its frightened residents. Huntsville police suspect a cruel hoax, but are unable to convince its gullible citizens. Search for clues in the pawn shop, toy store, fire station, and other locations. And then use the singular divining power of the crime computer to reveal the identity of the charlatan extraterrestrial. Alright, uh, we have been to all of these. Oh wait, have we done this one? No, we have not. So, we need two fiddles. That's a fiddle. That's a fiddle too. Two fiddlers. I didn't read the whole word. Two fiddlers, a kazoo, ice tongs, a silver spoon, a horse head, a boat, an orange, and a yellow necklace. Okay, so I need to find fiddlers, not fiddles. Spoon in the metronome. Hey, you cheated and got ahead of me. All right, let's see. There's the horse head. A kazoo. That's something I haven't seen in person in a long time. 
For some reason, every once in a while, we would have a kazoo when we were a kid, and I never really got why my parents let us have one. Maybe it was part of a toy or something. I don't remember. I sure as heck would not have let my kids have a kazoo. <laughs> That's a red necklace. That's one of those shaky gourd things that sounds so cool. I don't know what those are called. Let's see, what else? A boat and an orange. There's the orange. And ice tongs. See any fiddlers? There's dill pickles for some reason. Isn't that interesting? Maybe they mean fiddler spiders? No, I guess not. Oh, wait. Two fiddlers, same picture. Got it. Alright, ice tongs, boat, and a yellow necklace. Ice tongs, boat, and yellow necklace. Sure does look like it would have been fun to make one of these older style ones too. Because like all the weird things in these pictures has had to have been interesting to kind of try and find on the internets and then put together in a weird ways like this. I'm totally not looking for anything. What am I supposed to be looking An ice tongue and a boat. Maybe they're stuck in the wallpaper. Let's see. I am not seeing anything. Maple leaf. Maybe a car. Is it tuning fork? No, they mean like grabby tongs. There's a toothbrush and tooths. What is that? Oh, that's a drill bit. I think that's a slide whistle. Boy, there's all kinds of weird stuff in this picture, isn't there? Okay, I think we're gonna go to the next place. I don't want to get stuck running out of- I was just here. Oh my gosh. Alright, fire department! Can I take this buggy off? No! Alright, level, shells, pliers, light bulb, tie, three wrenches, a screwdriver, and three hearts. There's a heart. And a light bulb. And shells. Let's see. What else? A tie again. Three wrenches, a screwdriver. Okay. And a level. Doop doop doo. Is that a dragon? I can't tell what that is. It kind of looks like a dragon, but I don't think it is. That's a dragon. Uh -huh. There's a heart, ice cream scoop, which I think we had to find in the first level. The fact that I know that annoys me. Let's see. A tie, two wrenches, and one heart. There's another dragon. It's a wrench. So one wrench, one heart, and a tie. That looks like a wrench there. Boy, oh, there we go. One heart. Tie is on the door. Oh, yes it is. And one heart. Here's an eyeball. And a frog. And a sun. And a spider hiding under the wheel well. That's not okay. Not okay at all. Did you see the newest snake discovery? They were herping for snakes in California, hoping to find a rattlesnake. And one of the things they found was a tarantula. Now I would not be looking for snakes particularly on purpose. I wouldn't mind them if I found them, but I wouldn't be looking on purpose. But if I instead, oh, it's not a dragon. It's a realistic heart. If I, instead of finding a snake, found a tarantula, I would be an unhappy camper. Yes. 
So, y'all should watch Snake Discovery. They have a YouTube channel, and they now have a Twitch channel wherein they are streaming their alligator at their zoo, because that's a thing that they have. And Rex is awesome, and you can check out his live stream, which I believe is Snake Discovery, is their Twitch account as well. I'm not looking for anything. All right, let's see. Two feathers, a rubber duck. Yes, she's a, she's a girl, Rex. They didn't know that at first. That's why they named her Rex. Two feathers, rubber duck, hook, flower, toy top, snorkel, and an oar. Yep, we both found that at the same time, too. What is wrong with our brains? That is very creepy. I keep looking back and forth. I think this is rubber duck upper left shelf. There it is! Rubber ducky, you're the one. Am I allowed to sing in these? Will I get like in trouble? Not like I'm gonna sing the whole song. Also, isn't if you're singing it, like, isn't that fair use or like a cover or something? Only if you perfectly sing, sing it. I don't think I'm perfectly singing anything ever. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Let's see. Is that supposed to be a feather? No, I don't think so. Two feathers and an oar. Is that the oar? Lame. And I need two feathers. One, two. One, two feathers is a carrot. There's a feather. And one more feather. Up oh, there it is. I actually saw that twice. And I didn't click on it either time. Let's go to the Captain's Inn. Wow, that's all kinds of creepy. What the heck? Is that supposed to be a mask? Ooh. All right. Eagle, three clocks, painted egg, pipe, two Saturns, elephant, maple leaf, and tire iron. I just thought tire iron was a weird word for what it is. I don't know why. There's elephant. All right. Let's see. What else? Eagle, three clocks. Okay, three clocks. We can find one. Two iron on the middle shelf. Yes, it is. That's where the soda bottle was. Or actually, wait, that's not an iron? That's not an iron either. You are a liar. Tire iron. That'd be my fault. All right, let's see. Eagle, clock, pipe, Saturn, maple leaf. I know I saw the maple leaf last time we heard there's Saturn. Oh, and there's the eagle. Let's see. Pipe, Saturn, and maple leaf. Look at this statue real good this time. Stupid fish. Alright. Clock. There's a boat. Hey, that skeleton's got a candy cane. That's silly business. There's a pipe. Pipe, Saturn, Maple Leaf. Oh no, just Saturn and Maple Leaf. I found the pipe. I just did that. I could have sworn I saw the Maple Leaf last time we were here, too. I wonder where it is. There's a flamingo. Maple leaf is in the palm leaves. Yep, okay. See, I knew I saw it last time. And a Saturn. I assume not the car, but the planet. Plant it? Planet. Oh, there it is. Yep, we got it. The toy shop again. This is all really cool stuff. Okay. Eight cowboys. Wow, okay. Let's just do that first, shall we? There's one. Two. Three. I think I've seen this toy before somewhere, too. That horse thing. Four. Five. Six. Is that a cowboy? No, I don't know what that is. One more cowboy. Seven. 
I think those are those head bases, except cowboy heads. All right, let's see. One cowboy, a teapot, three musical instruments, two Humpty Dumpties we got last time. Oh yeah, those are definitely matching slow and pepper shakers. Eight cowboys. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bug robot, nice. A uh, passenger train car, a green car, and bananas. All right, that's a taxi. That's a car. That's a car too. Green car. Wow, good job, me. Bug robot! He's so cute. Bananas, lower left shelf. There they are, with some uh, ice cream sundaes that are probably also salt and pepper shakers. Let's see, passenger train car. There's the train part of the train. There's the passenger train. Three musical instruments. Let's see. There's a trumpet. And I swear I saw a harmonica. Oh, there's a pan flute. And... Oh, we also need another cowboy. Oh, here he is, right here. Keyboard, lower middle. Ah, that, I believe, is actually an accordion. But, good, good seeing, noticing, whatever. There's a teapot. I don't remember seeing a teapot. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, we have to go back here and find ice tongs, a boat, and a yellow necklace. And I don't know why we haven't been able to find any of those things. There's a maple leaf. <laughs> Boy, if I could actually see everything on here. Oh, there's the boat! Ha 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 ha! I found it. If I could see everything, it would be a little bit easier. Where is that stupid yellow necklace? If it's yellow, I should be able to see it because it's yellow. Ah, I found it! Ta-da! I could use one last hint. Oh, I don't need to! This is weird. The people in this town, I think, have something wrong with their water supply. I mean, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this lady needs some help. I'm not sure what kind, but definitely a thing that needs to happen. Here. Here. My brain is getting tired. Like the shapes are starting to look like not shapes. Probably bad. <laughs> Probably a good time to stop after this. Ha 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 ha. You're so funny. Alright, what's going on? Here. Okay. Ta da! Alright. Congratulations, Agent Fate. It doesn't look like this person would be hard to find. You have caught Klatu Brato Brata Nikto, or as she's known by her Earthlings, Doris Belvins, planning her next alien encounter. The only force field she'll be behind are the steel bars of cold hard justice. I I, I know you get the reference. Your dynamic detecting skills have earned you the new ranking of Private Eye. Also, actually, a ranking of detective stuff. Alright, we shall end here because my brain apparently is falling asleep. Do I just close it? I guess I just close it. There we go! I don't know why the music keeps cutting off. It's kind of annoying. I can totally quit. I just did it. Oh, I can put my computer back too so it's not like taking up my entire field of vision. Ah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> right, well, <laughs> I can lean back and not have my face <laughs> right up against the screen. So that's Mystery Case Files Huntsville. We have one more session of that left. And then we can move on to the second one. We are also doing more of the Haunted Hotel, which is all kinds of interesting as well. And... Yeah, that one, that, 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 uh, Let's Play is kind of going off the deep end. Very, very strange stuff in that version of the game. James is dead. We think so, anyway. 
So I guess that's it for the moment. I'm Fate Touched and I will see you later. Bye.